Hello, welcome back to my channel. If your laptop does not have an Ethernet port like mine, then consider watching this video. I will show you how to install a USB Ethernet adapter so you can enjoy a wired network connection. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Now let's get to the video. For this exercise, I will be installing the USB 2.5 gigabit USB Ethernet adapter on my MacBook Pro. I will leave a link in the description below if interested. And no, this video is not sponsored. Okay, inside the box we have a card with a number to call in case you come across um, any problems and also a quick start guide for you to follow. Although this should be a plug and play unit so you shouldn't have any problems the cool thing about this unit is that it has dual usb connection usb type a and usb type c i will be using usb type a for my laptop and here is a view of the ethernet port as you can see, it is a basic simple unit and it should be easy to install. It is important to mention that for Windows users and current macOS users, you do not need to download any drivers. It should be a plug and play installation. All other older versions must go to pluggable.com and download the drivers for your operating system. In my case, I will be downloading and installing the driver. As you can see, I'm disconnected from the internet. My Wi-Fi is off. As you can see, I am not connected to the internet. So I am going to download the drivers. But for that, I need to turn on my Wi-Fi. Okay, so I am going to <clears throat> turn on the Wi-Fi. And while that connects, I am going to start typing the address where I need to go to in order to download the driver that I need for my MacBook Pro. Okay, so now it's taking me to the page where I need to download the driver. I will click on support and from there I will click on drivers and select the adapter that I just uh, purchased and from here I will scroll down and look for the driver for my operating system in this case is macOS and I will be selecting macOS driver so once I click on the link I will download it and I will start the installation of the driver. I will, I will um, fast forward on the installation process. Okay, so um, let's check the download box. And here it is. Now I am going to uh, let it run. And then from that window, I'm going to select the package. Yes, on the right. Double click it and let it run. And proceed with the installation. This process is going to take a while, so I am going to fast forward the video. We'll be back. Okay, now that the installation has finished, I am going to restart the computer. We'll be back in a second. Now I'm back on the computer. I'm going to check my internet connection. And um, I'm 
just to make sure that it was installed I'm going to plug it in connect it to the Ethernet connect the Ethernet cable as you can see the light is blinking so the connection is successful and now as you can see on the computer uh, you can see the connection of the USB Ethernet adapter so the installation was successful I'm going to go to the internet and see if I can access YouTube and if I can then everything went well one reason I wanted to install the Ethernet adapter is because sometimes when I'm on my laptop on a zoom call the call drops or it starts breaking up and it's because of my internet connection so by me installing the Ethernet adapter I have direct connection and therefore my zoom calls will be more stable as you can see I'm on the internet right now so the Ethernet adapter is working perfectly no issues at all so thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel